Juan Luis Panero. Juan Luis Panero, 9 September 1942, 16 September 2013, the son of Leopoldo Panero, nephew of Juan Panero, and brother of Leopoldo Maria Panero. He was born into a well off family, receiving his education in El Escorial and afterwards in London. His rebellious and wandering spirit drove him to travel around different countries in America, which gave him the opportunity to meet renowned writers such as Octavio Paz, George Louis Borges, and Juan Rolfo, among others. He prepared anthologies of poets such as those of his father Leopoldo Panero, Pablo Neruda, and Octavio Paz. He made selections of Colombian poetry 1880-1980 and contemporary Mexican poetry. His poetic career started in 1968 with the publication of his book A Traves del Time Po Through Time, followed by Los Trucos de Lam Wirt The Tricks of Death in 1975, Disapparitions y Fracasos Disappearances, and Failures in 1978, and Jugos Para a Plazar Lam Wirt Games to Postpone Death, in 1984. Antis Quinleg Lan Notch Before Night arrives in 1985. In 1988, with Gallerias Y Phantasmas Galleries and Ghosts, he won the Premio International de Posure de la Fundation Lo. He lived in Girona from 1985 onwards. In 1974, James Chavery began the shooting of what was supposed to be an illustrated report about the father Leopoldo Panero. The material turned into the film El Desencanto, The Disenchantment, which ended up being a symbol of the family and of the age and may be considered a cult film for a whole generation. In the first half of El Desencanto, the mother, paradoxically called Felicidad Happiness, and two of her sons describe the poet and their memories of him, though he does not appear in the film himself, no photograph, no video excerpt, he is the ghost that haunts this family. In the second half of the film, Leopoldo Maria Panero, the son, becomes the central axis of the story. But, within this special, unique and decadent family portrait is the image of an age that is coming to its end. The last parts of Spain's time under Franco can be seen through the evocation of old glory of the man who was one of Franco's official writers. El Desencanto was also the last movie mutilated by cinematographic censorship in Spain and one of Chavarri's most critically acclaimed works. In 1994, Dispues de Tantos Anos After So Many Years was released, a film in which Ricardo Franco takes up the task of the director that James Chavarri undertook two decades before.